Okay, so this is part two. This is the second video in the series where I'm going to be actually following the directions from TAO right here, taking action online. This is the platform where I'm going to be getting the training from. I will currently be in the niche simplicity and we're going to go to that. I'm just going to show you some of the training, the videos I've taken and went through already. And I've done some work on this. Now, as I actually do this work, I'll tape that, attach it to the end of this video to show you what I did. I went over the videos called Two Simplicity Rules and Not Overthinking. Micro Niches Explained, Understanding User Intent, Done For You Niche List, Forget About Keyword Research and AI's Lightning Fast Niche Exploration, and Let's Choose a Niche. And what if I choose the wrong niche and got the niche? Now what? So I've gone over all these videos. As you can see, they're all checked off except this one here. And I know I did I watch this the other day. What I will be doing is actually videotaping as I start going. I've got a list, a long list of niche sites that I'm looking at deciding. And as I do that, I'll give you my choices and what I'm deciding and how I'm deciding. And we're going to actually do these instructions. We're going to go from step two, which this video is going to be. Then we're going to move into the rock solid foundations training area. And we'll move into the other areas as well as we move through this training and through this video up tight, personal, upright, personal, whatever. Um, video showing you how I'm going to do it right this time. Not wrong as I did in my other three sites. So that's it. That's the beginning of this video. Okay. So. With niches, I my three sites have been, as I told you in value in the first video, was a personal blog about my ostomy. Before that, I did a horse riding, which I had no personal experience, but I wrote articles about it from research. And then here, but we're back in the saddle. Today's video is going to be covering sections one, two, and three in the training from taking action online. And at the end, I will also point out to you a few things that I did differently than what I did initially as I was learning over three, four, or five year spans of time. So that's today's video. Let's move into the training and overview of what I've done with my site since we did the last video. So, in following Philip Barman's directions, as per the course, where we're at with our site at the moment is, it looks like this. Now, it looks very nondescript because everything we're doing is behind the scenes because I don't have any traffic, I don't have a blog post, nothing like that so far. But I will show you what I've done as per the directions of TAO and the course. And so I'm just following the directions exactly as laid out. Just want to remind you towards the end of the video, I also have what I used to do compared to what I'm doing now for how I'm building the site out. What we've done, we've set up, we've purchased a domain. So how did I decide on my niche? Well, my niche was through a couple of days of research, a lot of research on all these niches in rank IQ. I came across the acne one and I ended up finding out that I decided I wanted to do my site was going to be called Better Skin Over 50 and my domain is antiagingover50.com. That's what I decided on. That's what I'm going to be writing articles on. I'm going to be using Coyola, the Coyola AI writer. I already wrote an article, had them write an article, which I'll be putting on one of my first published articles about managing crepey skin. That's what we're looking at for the site that I'm using. And next, let's move into how I, things I've learned since then that I'm not doing and things I'm doing with the instructions from Philip Barlman on this project this time to make this work for me. We've set it up on hosting. We've set up, this is the back end of the WordPress, what it looks like right now. I can show you real quick. I've set the following pages up. I have an About Me page, Affiliate Disclosure, 
contact us page health disclaimer because it has to do with health situations and articles will be about health and aging skin and people privacy policy privacy policy and terms and conditions these are according to the directions these are the pages i've set up now let's just go and go show you what this looks like real quick I don't have any menus or anything. Now here's the affiliate disclosure as it is right now. Now I haven't done any formatting, no changes. I'm an original theme builder from Thrive Themes right now. I also wanted to show you I've worked on setting up the plugin page as well. So my plugins on this site look like this. These are plugins I've used and have on all my sites. This is what I'm comfortable with. This also is also using some plugins that are suggested or are there to help fill out the site according to what Philip wants me to build it as. So this is not a list to be followed. It can be used as a guide and I would help you with questions. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below the video. I'd be happy to get back to you. These are where my site is at at the moment. We've got these following pages have been developed. I've gone through the general settings for the site and they look as the such and all this stuff is all background stuff. It doesn't show up on the site right now. And then let's take a look. We'll move into taking a look at the action plan. Niche simplicity was about training itself. It was about how to purchase and decide on building your site, which is niche is going to be about how to decide on a domain and where to buy a domain, that kind of thing. So that's all been done according to the directions. The second area is rock solid foundations. This is all the areas I just showed you setting up legal pages, core pages, setting up your theme builder, hosting WordPress. Choosing a domain, purchasing a domain, all that stuff, all that's been done is according to the directions right here in this section as well. Okay, the last section of training to get to where my current blog is, the training provides the following. It's just simply a discussion on four videos about whether you're going to be a blogger or whether you're going to be a YouTuber and you want you to make a four to six month commitment to get excellent at doing what you're doing before you even look at starting to involve another traffic source. So if you haven't done blogging before, you want you to do blogging for six months to get better at it, doing it and doing it and doing it and before you consider even doing a video or having a YouTube channel. So with that in mind, I just wanted to go over some things that I've done differently with this than what I did generally with what I did previously building sites. I showed you in the first video different sites I had built over the years. The problem with every one of those sites was inconsistency in building them. I would build, I would start by setting up WordPress, start by creating an about me page maybe and then I would do a couple blog posts and I just built from there thinking contact pages and legal pages were all something I'd fill the cracks in with later Philip teaches reverse of that you want you to lay groundwork because you don't have anything you don't have any traffic you don't have anything going on at the time so people aren't looking for content at the moment anyway but you have a background foundation built first. And having never built a home before and not being a home builder, I never understood that principle. That I'm building on a concrete blocked structure now, not sand as it was before. And the sand is inconsistency, just bouncing from one project to another, which was what I was famous for. I think most people are famous for that too because they don't stay with anything long enough. The fact that Philip wants and encourages you to go six months into before you even start thinking about anything else, be it Facebook, YouTube, uh, Pinterest, anything like that. You don't do all these things at one time. Do one thing, only blogging, create blogging posts. 
day in, day out. Create one a week. Set a goal one a week. Maybe two a week. Maybe only one every two weeks. But you have a consistent flow of product that is can be looked at by Google and ranked by Google. That's the key is consistency. Building consistently and adding new content to your site. And as you do, you'll take this site and it'll become... You'll start having menus up here and you'll have colors and you'll have, you know, just things. The footer will be filled in. You'll have all kinds of things. You'll fill in the cracks and you'll watch as I do this. The next three, four or five videos as I develop the site, you'll see as I develop according to Philip's directions here in TAO, taking action online. That's my video for today. If you got some value from it, please give me a thumbs up, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also reach over there and tap that bell icon so you get notified every time I publish a new video to our channel. Thanks for watching today. Take care. God bless.